Hey everyone, so I've seen a few people querying how we can use the environment light um, moaning about it because they don't like this change here with the ray trace backdrop um, and they liked it before which I most certainly don't but I was one of the champions for removing it because I absolutely hated it um, changing this setting per per scene because you had an environment light it seems crazy because you'd have to have duplicate objects and crap like that I hated it so I'm just going to do this quick video just to show how you can have one environment light to do the sort of backdrop and one as reflections um, I think some people are probably just going in here and adding adding a new texture into here which doesn't work I mean it works but it will it it just shows one or the other like that unless you add some sort of mixing um, the way I found to do it is if you select the environment light clone it um, and then oh you can just oh, I'll remove that one um, add whatever background you want um, spherical, backyard um, and then if you just whichever one you want to do the lighting or whichever one you want to do show as the backdrop you can choose so it might be easier if I rename these to HDR because that's my HDR and then gradient just for the purposes of the video so now you can tweak these settings so you can lower this MIS to really low it doesn't really matter but it will speed stuff up um, and then if I go to the HDR one 512 is fine um, but as you can see I've got the HDR as my backdrop and the gradient is doing all the reflections on everything which is really cool and that's exactly what people wanted um, I think it actually would look better doing it the other way just because HDRs have got a nice sort of quality of light to them usually and that looks nice so uh, just a quick one as well if you've got um, you've got an environment, you've got a gradient. Hang on, I'll start again. If you've got a physical sky, um, which looks really nice by default, um, looks really nice, but below the ground level, you just get black, which most people don't really want you can always composite it out because um, I think it renders as an alpha but if you drop in a gradient backdrop on top of your your sky you can then you can tweak the ground color to whatever you want um, but you I mean it doesn't have to be a backdrop it can be absolutely anything you can drop uh, textured environment in here um, and even the procedural texture and it will it will show in the Alfred section or the ground section of the of the physical sky which I don't know if people would want but it's quite cool I, I love this because it means you don't um, you don't get the crappy sort of black infinite black sort of thing um, and the sun sky looks really nice another quick tip actually this is what I tend to do with my um, sun sky is I choose so which uh, it's in the gradient one so I choose the actual 
environment light as the light to control my sun, which I quite like because you can just rotate it, spin it round, blah blah blah, and then if you obviously raise the sun up, I'll need more MIS samples for this. Sorry, MIS, um, just to make it a bit higher resolution, but it's it's just really handy to be able to drag my environment light around and see it update in real time. It's not affecting the actual lighting cause. I've got it turned off. If I go and turn off my other light, oh, I may as well turn the distant light off as well. Um, so that's purely being controlled by this backdrop light, end light. And then with a bit of the nice old Aces filmic, maybe that's a bit high. With the old tone mapping, you get something that looks really quite nice. I'm doing this on really low samples just to keep the speed up for um, for the video, but. Yeah, it looks really nice. And now it's just dead easy to control. I'll leave it there for now. Cheers, bye.